another video. Video. Another video. Video. <laughs> and as you guys can see, Bam. and as you can see from the title below, we are doing a mukbang. That's right. I think that's how you say it. Mukbang, mukbang. Muk, muk, mukbang. Muk, yeah, mukbang. We are doing a seafood mukbang because we love crab legs and we got crab legs, a little shrimp, corn, and potatoes. And a special butter. Woo! My lord. We made a special butter sauce and I love cocktail sauce. I know people are like, you need to get the shrimp, I mean, not the shrimp, but the um, crab ball um, mixture of dipping sauce. I think like B Loves have one and just some other different ones, but. We like butter and cocktail sauce. Um, Yo, but it ain't that good. Oh, it's good. Trust me. If y'all taste it, <laughs> make you want to slap something. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so the mukbang today, um, our topic is going to be life after the marriage. marriage. And our first um, time coming together as one romantically. Okay. Physically. But we're only going to share a teeny little bit of like that because, you know, we can't get too personal. But, yeah, we're going to talk about how life is now um, as a married couple. And, right. you know, we've only been married a couple months since January. So, it's only been like, what, four or five? Four and a half, five March, months. April, May. Yeah, about five, five months. months. So, yeah, so we're just going to give you guys a little bit on how it's been. But we're not going to keep on rambling on. We're going to go ahead and get into the video and also into eating these crabs. Okay. You hear me what I say? Go. You hear me what I say? All right. So, what's the first topic? What, what are we going to start off talking about? We're going to talk about blessing this food first. And then we're going to go into the video. All right. Let's go. Dear Lord, thank you for the food. Thank you for the ones who prepared it. Thank you for the ones who financed it. God, we ask you to bind the will of the enemy. We go, it's worse than not. Lord is my shepherd. I shall not go. Amen. Amen. Okay, so what is the topic we're going to talk about? I guess we can start off talking about how life began after January 11th. So do we need to talk about what happened like after the wedding? Honeymoon? After the wedding. Wedding evening here. night. Yeah. Well, I mean, first of all, the wedding day was amazing. Amazing. It was just, my like, words can't describe. It was. Despite uh, the storm. Oh, yeah. That held a few people from coming. But thank you to all those that did make it. We appreciate you guys. We appreciate you guys for the support and the love that y'all shared with us on that great and glorious day. Mm hmm. But yes, outside of the storm, everything went super well. It 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 went by so quick. It did. It went by super fast. Super fast. We didn't even get to do everything we wanted to do. Yeah, we didn't get a chance to do everything that we had planned and scheduled out for the wedding. Of course, we know that the venue had us on a time limit, so. Yeah. You know? What's no He dropped all the seasoning up in this. <clears throat> it, went, it ain't too bad. But, um... Yeah, um, the venue had a time frame, so we only had so many hours, but everything still worked out great. Mm -hmm. Everything was, was awesome. It was like a fairy tale. And if you would like to see the video from the wedding, just go to our videos or I will link it somewhere up here somewhere um, where you can click on and watch the wedding video. But yeah, y'all, it was a great experience. It's, you know, it's nothing like waiting on the person that you know is for you and that God has planned purposely for purpose for your life so I mean having that day sharing that day with the one that you know you're supposed to be with, with the rest of your life and it's like the best feeling in the world it was and for some of you guys that have been following me from the very beginning when I first started a lot of you know that I was saving myself for marriage. So that was, that made it even more super special and nerve wracking all together. <laughs> so, 
How do you think our first evening marriage went? I think it went good. Once we made it back home. I think it went Be great. Be honest. <laughs> I think it went great. Because I had a little surprise set up. You know, I had everything decorated in the house from the front, from the front door all the way to the, the bedroom, bathroom door. All the, everything was set up perfect. I had a couple of my guys, my brother in particular, which is my best man. Shout out to BJ. BJ. And my homeboy Cameron. I appreciate y'all so much. I love y'all. Thank y'all for, for the support and love that y'all are giving me. I couldn't have did this without you guys. You guys made it very successful for me, but... You know, not to get too far off of that. But yeah, it was great. They had everything set up for me. They came and took care of the house for me, made sure things were straightened for the house. There's nothing like having some guys that you know you can trust, right? But anyway, we got home. And you know, I, I, in my mind, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, trying to enjoy the day, making sure everything goes correct and making sure everything's in place, you know, throughout the whole day, whatever. But, you know, when we got home, you know, we just took it one moment at a time, I guess, and you know, we had a little um, uh, after gathering after the wedding. Uh, we went to a couple of a friends' house at our Airbnb where we were staying at, or she was staying at, and we celebrated a little while, and you know, got home and with family and um, some friends because the wedding was over pretty early, so we didn't want to just come straight home. So we went back to the Airbnb that. We I stayed at the night before and we just kind of hung out with family and friends and then we came back home. So he's being real nice with it but you know the whole time after the wedding was over and I knew the reception was coming to an end. <laughs> Honey my nerves and my mind was everywhere. Where are they? Whew. Did you hear me say I was saving myself for marriage and I am 33, 33 years old? You know how long it is? That's a long time. I had a reason to be a little nervous. Look, I was nervous for. I was nervous for, you know. And, you know, of course, I, 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 I wasn't a virgin. And, you know, it's different when you... When you, it's like you gotta learn all over again. I don't know if whoever's out there experienced this, whatever had the experience, but for you guys who have been fortunate and blessed enough to find a chase version, you know, it's, it's just like learning everything all over again. You have to be super patient, you have to be super kind. You, it can't be about you, you know, it can't be about what you're trying to get and trying to get what you experience and all that stuff. So I had to just about pretty much erase a lot of content out of my brain of what I, I I experienced in the past, you know, so it's just like learning all over again, which is a great thing. It's, some people may think it's boring, some people think it's, it's bad, but we get to learn each other and grow with each other the way we need to grow with each other. You know, she can learn me, I can learn her, she can learn my taste, I can learn her taste. So that's a blessing. Right. And to go along with that <clears throat> being said, um, you know, me in my mind knowing that, you know, he's already experienced I am not, that was another thing that was in my head that was making me nervous because, you know, I didn't want him to be expecting one thing and get something else, which I will say. First night didn't go all the way as planned as I thought, you know, it would be. I was all hyped, you know. But, you know, when things began, it was just a little more than I expected. So, you know, but praise be to the almighty God. We finally made it through. It was a rough start. Rough couple of starts. But, you know, we, we continued. And Matt was so, you know, understanding and patient with me. And, you know... That made it even, you know, better. I wasn't feeling, you know, bad or anything. So, he was a lot of help in making it, you know, go as smooth as it did. So, I thank him for that. <laughs> yeah, like you said, you know, I tried my best to, to be as patient because I know 
doing something for the first time, you don't know what to expect. And, and, and for the women who, let me tell you something, guys. For the women, if you ever find somebody that is a virgin and having experience, then give her time to learn herself. She don't know what she likes. She don't know, you know, her likes and her dislikes. She don't know what makes her tick and what makes her talk. So, you know, you have to be patient with that. If that talk is a word, <laughs> I made it up. <laughs> TikTok, right? Yeah, TikTok. So, I mean, you, you got to help her. You got to help her. You got to be patient enough to understand that she's not where you are, okay? She ain't where he is. Where he are. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to you have to be patient with her. You have to give her time to figure out what what, what makes her where she needs to be or get to where she needs to be uh, intimately with you. So I mean that's that's a process, guys. That's a process. It, it, if you're not conditioned and if you don't have patience, then it could become a problem. But you know, for the guys who is understanding and, and who have experience or is going through this. Or experience this right now, man. Be patient with your wife. Be patient with your, your significant other because it ain't easy. And it can be vice versa. Right. It could be vice versa. It could be the guy that's, you know, the virgin or. It's hard to find them, but. You know. Hey, there's some out there. They say it was hard to find women, but, you know, some, some of them I've been saying. And even for the women, you know, don't feel bad, you know, because you're inexperienced that you might feel like you're not coming up to par or doing exactly what you need to be doing. Um, what it going hot? Oh, it's good. <laughs> don't feel like you know. Don't feel bad if you like the first night you might not, um, you may not be able to go through with the whole thing or you know. Don't feel bad, especially if you got somebody that's understanding and you know that's gonna coach you through it. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad about not being able to do certain things or whatever. Do not feel bad because that's what I was starting to do. I was starting to get into my head. I was starting feeling bad about stuff. But like I said, he didn't let me stay in that place too long. He coached me out of that headspace. You know, and you know, just know that this is new for you. This is new for your body. You got to learn. Like he said, you got to learn your body. You got to learn him. You just, it's, it's new. It's all the way new. You like in preschool when it comes to this. So, you know, don't feel bad. Because in due time, you will get to where you need to be. <laughs> Believe me, I know. So, yeah. But that was pretty much that. So, let's talk about married life. Like, living together with someone. Um, I think we have a pretty interesting life. Because we both share a lot of essence and characteristics. Um, she's a very interesting person. Um, I think what I'm. What do you mean? I think I'm an interesting person. You are. You're very interesting. But how do you mean I'm a very interesting person? What I mean by interesting is her character. She's very different. Um, I will say she's a very humble and a very meek person. She's one of the most meekest females I've ever met. So, you know. We come from two different backgrounds, so, you know, coming together in a home, you know, my past, I had a rough past. I ain't going to lie to you guys. I had a rough past. I had a, been in a lot of rough relationships, so, you know, you have to wash out everything from your past and, you know, adjust to where you are. So, I think us living in a house together, we took time to really learn each other, learn what we like and what we don't like, so... Um, for the most part, it's been it's been pretty simple, you know. Just making adjustments and communicating mm -hmm. has been the um, the most important thing. Excuse me. You just burp. It wasn't really a burp. It was just sort of <laughs> like a, a release. <laughs> you know what I mean? You ever just release while you was eating? Yeah, I call that a burp. Call uh, comment below. Tell me what you think. <laughs> but yeah, living together has been. You know, coming home with her husband. It has been different. Especially when you used to living by yourself. You got to adjust. You might like stuff a certain way. And they might not, you know, do it that same way or something. You know, you got to learn to adjust. 
and you know just come together and work together as one and get a whole flow in the house that flows with both of you guys so right that's that's been a a, a challenge biggest thing i think that's been our our, our strength in living in a home together is the fact that even when we have differences when we disagree when i'm completely against what she's thinking or what she's talking about we're able to find a common ground because in relationships you're gonna have you're gonna have issues okay it's just gonna happen she has her own baggage i have my own baggage but we dump our baggage out on the table and sort through it and see hey look this is what we can deal with this is what we can't deal with so i think you know being in a relationship is finding out whether you can actually tolerate her and she can tolerate me you know you know finding out whether you can handle her bag and she can handle my baggage and find a ground that both you guys can agree on because everybody's gonna have some type of baggage everybody's gonna have some type of issues but is them issues something you can really work together with in the home so and also the number one thing is in starting a marriage and coming together as one you have got to have God as your foundation that's the most important thing. We left that out starting off. Yeah, you got to have that as your foundation. It won't work without it. Because even with us having God as our foundation, we still have disagreements. We still, you know, have our little moments. But we all we come back to a common ground, like he said, and, and it don't take long. <laughs> we come back to a common ground and be like, hey, okay, this is what we need to do. This is what we got to do. This. You know, because we know, you know, our reason for together. We both feel that God put us together. So with God as your firm foundation, you can work through anything as long as both of you want to work through it. Like I said, we ain't been married that long. We ain't even reached a year yet. But, you know, learning that from other people giving us wisdom, you know, during the process of before marriage or whatever, having counseling and stuff, they're giving us wisdom about you know having God as that foundation and with him as that foundation you can work through anything so you know we keep that in our head like even though like he said we ain't had many disagreements or whatever we don't say fights or whatever because they don't be fights our arguments we don't have arguments we just we have disagreements but you know we always end up coming to a common ground and it don't last no time but God need to be that firm foundation you know, that's right. You got that's to have, the number one. Got to have, you have got to have God as the main source of your relationship because after the sex, after the late night movies, after all that kind of stuff, and when that gets to the point where it's not working, what do you have? You know, what do you have? What what else do you have to rely on? You know, you don't have nothing else but your physical because that changes at times. You ain't gonna always be high Johnny Conger, brothers. You know what I mean? But, you know what I'm just saying? When things get to changing and as time go on and stuff just start changing and having its transitions, God is what keeps the glue. He's the glue. He's the, the excuse me, the moral for the relationship. So, it's the life. And we just strongly believe in that. Not that we're perfect individuals, but we believe in the principles of the doctrine and we, we try our best to stand on them. You know? I know we sound like we've been married a long time, but he has an old soul. I grew up around, you know, my mom and dad and aunts and uncles that, you know, have that firm foundation, which is God. So, you know, we kind of been raised up, you know, on the way it's supposed to be. So, you know, even though we sound like we've been married for years, we just been around people that's older than us and they have fed us wisdom. And let me tell y'all something. Just because you go to church and you have a, uh, I'm not going to say religious lifestyle because religion can be anything. But anytime you believe in God and you try to, you know, conform to the standards and the, the ways of God, it doesn't mean your life has to be born. We have plenty of fun. We find what makes us, us, us tick what makes us thrive in life and we shoot for it we don't hold back in life whatever opportunities we take to have fun we go for it i don't have a boring life because i believe in god or 
I don't go out and party and do everything else everybody else do. We have fun, you know what I'm saying? But it's not a boring lifestyle. So don't think for the ones who have this kind of lifestyle, who walk this type of walk or try to maintain a, type, a certain type of walk, that it has to just be this boring life. You can't have no fun. No, that, that ain't the case. But, you know, like she said, you know, we, we learn each other. So that's the biggest thing. We're learning each other and we're growing. He a little bit of a preacher to y'all. If he go getting off course and going to a sermon, you know. I just, ain't going to a sermon. I, ain't, I, was, I wasn't preaching, but I just felt we've never really sat down and done this type of, of, of video before. But I just wanted to encourage you guys on that level. And I felt like it was needed to say. Because some people might be dealing with that. You know what I mean? You know? You're right. But, um, are you trying to get something? No. But yeah, you guys. That's pretty much... That's how life is being. Like I said, getting used to, um, you know, sharing, being in a house with somebody else or doing stuff after you done been living together for a long time. You know, when he first moved in, he was all about cooking, Still all that. But honey, after a couple months, he like, I'm taking off for a week. It's your turn to cook. And he wanted to cook all the time when he was dating. And a little bit after we got married, but now we be trying to take weeks and stuff out. The only time that stuff changed is when my job situations changed. <laughs> Schedules changed, so I couldn't always be available to cook. She just got spoiled. No. And the thinking that because I can cook, he loves to cook. That I'm supposed to just cook every day, <laughs> all day. And that wasn't the case. No. That's not true. Because soon as it changed, Mm -hmm. Oh, you just don't get in the kitchen no more. <laughs> but hey, when, your ch when it changed, I jumped right aboard and was having dinner ready when you got home from work. She complained every five minutes about it. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> oh, so that, that's what you doing? Every that's five what minutes, you doing? I, I heard it. <laughs> All right. All right. But y'all, I had them meals ready when he got here. He had to do nothing but come home, take a bath, and sit down and eat. That's good. That's all he had to do. That's what a good wife will do. You're right. And I knew you was out there working, so I made sure you had dinner on the table. I'm, I'm blessed. I'm very grateful. I ain't never been hungry. And you have to ever come home and say, hey, look, you know, what's going on? I'm very Stomach busy. touching my back. He is very caring and loving beyond, you know, I've ever been with in a relationship-wise. He is beyond sweet and kind and understanding. and Sometimes I'm too nice. No, he ain't. You hear me what I said? <laughs> brothers. No, he ain't. My brothers. My brothers. <laughs> but yeah, but, you know, we're, we're truly blessed. And like I said, I will always say I believe God put us together because, you know, he marked all the checks off my list. And Lord, I had a few in there that I, you know, I didn't really have on my list, but, you know, mm. they weren't bad things, so I'll take them too. <laughs> But yeah, but it's been good. It's been an experience. It's been a learning experience, definitely. Um, but it's been a good experience. It's been good. Oh, we'll cook these crap I wouldn't trade. I told you. But yeah, you guys, that's about it. That's that's married life right now. We'll come back a few months later. All right, the year mark. I'll let you know. Give you some more information. Yeah, we just wanted to give y'all a little inside. Let y'all see what it was like. You know, let y'all know how we living. How we doing. While we enjoy eating one of our favorite meals. That's right. Don't get no better than some steamed crab legs. Right. But yeah, you guys, so that pretty much about wraps up this video. That's it. Y'all comment below. Y'all already know what to do. Hit that notification bell. Yep. Give this video a thumbs up. Let us know what you liked about this video. Please share it with all your friends. And um, Yeah, like he said, um, 
Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want the family. Hit the notification bell to let um, you know every time we upload a video that you don't miss one. But yeah, also comment down below like you said and let us know how you felt about this video, what you think. You know, give us some other video ideas that we can do. But um, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. So until next time, I'm Tasha. It's your boy Matt. <clears throat> See you soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>